Today I'm gonna to be giving you the best fireproof document bag, and I'm gonna be testing that out by actually burning every single one of them in this campfire that I built. So I'm gonna go one by one through each of these that I purchased here on Amazon, and I'm gonna be testing them out. So in total, I have 10 different fireproof document bags or safes, depending on which brand, some of them, some of them call them document safe, some, but all of them are designed to be fireproof. So I'm gonna actively test out each one of them putting paper inside, leaving it in the fire for five minutes, taking it out, and then seeing if the paper is still good inside. So let's get to the first one. So I'm just going to take this piece of paper. I'm gonna, this is the John Dunn fireproof document bag. I'm just taking a regular piece of paper, just sticking it right inside. Now on this one, you're going to want to zip it all of the way up, and then it's supposed to go part way underneath that little spot there. So now I'm going to take that, and I am just going to put it into the fire. So it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the campfire. It was actually actively sitting in there for five minutes, and then I'll let it cool down and see what see if anything inside survived. So this is what the Jun Dun looks like after five minutes in the fire. You can see it essentially burned in half. There is no sign of the paper left at all. It shredded into multiple pieces as it burned. So there is absolutely nothing left of this after five minutes. So assuming you are trying to protect some valuable paperwork for more than five minutes, this Jun Dun is not going to do it as it didn't even protect itself for five minutes. So if you have a small like house fire or something like that, then it might work. But anything longer than five minutes, this thing did not even come close to surviving that. So I'm gonna be testing out this fun Owlette document bag. So on this one, I'm just taking a single piece of paper and putting it right inside. It has Velcro across the top, and I believe it has a zipper as well. Yes, it does. So I'm gonna be taking that, putting that right inside of there. And I'm going to zip it up. And then I'm going to Velcro it shut, as you can see there. And then I'm just gonna set it right here on top of the fire. So it's been five minutes. So I'm gonna take this one off and I'm going to lay it right over here and I'm going to let that sit and cool down and we'll see if the document or the paper inside actually survived for five minutes. So this is what it looks like after being in the fire for five minutes. I let it cool down, obviously. Obviously it lost everything on the outside and everything on the inside is gone as well. Nothing survived, including any paperwork or anything like that. It is completely gone, all of the layers are gone the paper that was inside is totally gone as well the only thing that's left after five minutes in the fire is just a little bit of the plastic and the outside covering so definitely didn't survive five minutes at all like it didn't none of the paper is even net is even recognizable inside of there so definitely does not keep documents protected from actual fire for five minutes and again this isn't like a blazing inferno i just have it kind of sitting on top of wood so I got this piece of paper that I'm gonna stick inside of this document safe here. And then I'm just going to leave all of the other things that were inside of here. So it's got like dividers and things. I'm gonna leave that inside too. We'll see if any of it survives. I'm just gonna put the single piece of paper in. I'm actually gonna take and put it kind of behind here just so it has a couple of layers between it and the fire. And then I'm gonna set it on top of the fire right here, campfire right here in front of me. Now this one, all it has is a zipper in front. So I assume once that zipper is breached that it will catch anything on inside on fire. But supposedly this is a fireproof one. So we'll test it out and we'll see. I'm just gonna set it right here on top. So this is about three minutes in. It did not make it at all. I can see all of the way through that it entirely split apart. Um, I'm going to pull it off of the fire, but there is quite literally nothing left of this green one at all. So definitely not fireproof. It literally is not only has flames around it, but it's literally burning. So it's contributing to the fire. So definitely not even close to fireproof for your documents. So I'm gonna take this piece of paper, put it right inside of this one here. This is the SPV IOQI is the brand that's on there. I'm gonna see if it survives after one minute. So on this one specifically, i have just putting the paper inside there. You zip this one up and then it's going to have a little Velcro and a couple of snaps. So I'm going to do both of those just to assume that that will maybe protect it for a little bit longer there in the fire. So I'm doing all of that and then I'm gonna set it right here on top of the campfire. So it's gonna go right there. I'm gonna let it sit there for five minutes. So it's been five minutes. This one actually survived pretty well here. Um, you can even still kind of see a little bit of the outline on it. So I'm gonna take it off of the fire. Just gonna kind of set it right over here. 
hit it out a little bit because there's still a little bit of flames on there. And I'm gonna let it sit, cool down, and we'll see if the document inside actually survived. So this one was in the fire for five minutes. To let it cool off, I had to kind of unbutton this top part and it actually kind of came apart and then it also did kind of melt a little bit. It's still pretty hot in there. And let me kind of pull that apart here. And as you can see, that paper is still at least kind of intact. So you can see the lines on it, but it did not survive. Like the only, the only thing that's left is just black. So you might be able to read like a tiny bit, but if these are your important documents inside, like if you, in the event of a fire or something, it's not gonna work out very well as they all did burn it. This, the heat actually just melted this plastic part right here on the top. And there was nothing. Once that happened, then if everything inside, what documents you have, they're just gonna go up in flames. So I'm gonna be testing out this fireproof document safe next. And so this one, I've got a couple of pieces of paper here that I'm just gonna stick right inside. It just has this one zipper right here on top. And again, this is supposed to be fireproof. According to the um, Amazon listing, it says fireproof right in the title. So I'm gonna take that paper, stick it right inside of here, zip that up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right here on top on this bonfire. So I'm just gonna set it there. It's kind of kind of on top there. Let me move it a little bit over because it kind of fell over. So I'm just going to kind of let it sit on top of there and I'm going to do it for five minutes. So this one has been in the fire on top of this small campfire for three minutes. And as you can see, it's actually contributing to the flame at this point rather than the flames just coming up around it. It has been the breach. It has been breached like on this side as the seam has already come apart three minutes in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. But as you can see, there's absolutely no reason to continue this test. This one didn't even survive three minutes in the fire before it actively started burning and it's actively burning itself now. You can see what I'm talking about here. I just moved it out of the fly fire, set it on top of the concrete blocks here, and it's still actively burning. So I'm gonna take this Ing Pal fireproof document safe, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of paper to stick them right inside of there. Then I'm going to zip all of this up. So it just has a zipper around the outside, which doesn't give me much faith that it's not that it's going to actually survive in a fire. But according to their, the listing on Amazon, it's supposed to be fireproof. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right on top of here in this little campfire that I've got going there. Again, it's not massive flames or anything like that, but we'll see what happens after five minutes. So we are two minutes in with this one and it is actively contributing to the fire rather than actually protecting from the fire. So you can see here it's split out right there and so the fire is burning through. Here at the bottom where the zipper was at is now all of the way open and it is actively burning inside. So at this point, after two minutes, everything inside of there is going to be engulfed in flames. So definitely not fireproof. You can see what I'm talking about. I pulled it out of the flame. So again, it's only been in the fire for two minutes and it is still actively burning. So it is made of combustible material that is actively keeping the flames active even when pulled out of the fire. So even if you just have a brief fire that this is going to be into, it's because it's combustible, those flames are gonna come on and catch it on fire. And anything inside that might have survived is now no longer going to survive because it's literally a combustible bag. Now in this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a couple of pieces of paper. You do need to take the keys off to be able to get into it so it has this lock that goes on top. I'm gonna to take and put these pieces of paper inside. I'm gonna close the lid. I'm going to lock it, turn it so it's locked in place. And I'm gonna set it right on top. Now I'm just gonna set it square right on top of this little campfire that I have going here. So it's not massive flames or anything. So it should be pretty representative of what kind of flames it would encounter in a house fire. And truthfully, if there's a fi an actual fire that these documents are in, it might even be bigger than this. So it's a pretty, should be a pretty decent test here. So I'm just gonna take and set that right on top. I'm gonna set, set it and leave it for five minutes, see how it survives. And then I'll take it off and see if the documents inside survived as well. So I'm gonna take this off of the fire here. This is pretty heavy, so I have to use something that's a bit heavy as well to get it off. And then I think I'm gonna have to turn it almost to kind of get it out of the fire. And then I'm gonna set it entirely out of the heat here. And let's get it off. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it sit there. Obviously it will have to cool down, but we'll see if the paper inside survived. Now, this is still pretty hot, but I wanna go ahead and get it open here while it's still warm. So I'm gonna take and put the key inside, turn it. And as you can see, the documents did actually survive. Now, they are pretty parched in there, but that's just going to be from the heat. So obviously if you have some like heat 
um, some like, you know, receipts or whatever that don't do well in heat, then that won't work. But obviously I also had it directly on top of fire for five minutes. If you've got a fire or, you know, in your home or something like that, then you're probably not, it's not probably not going to be over direct heat, maybe for five minutes, the fire might burn through in a couple of minutes. So it looks like this one will actually work to protect your documents in the case of a fire as that paper did survive. So I'm gonna be doing this Kaido LED safe. I'm gonna be testing it in the fire here. So I'm just gonna take it and turn the key. You can see this is what it's going to look like here on the inside. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put paper inside to see if like if you had documents or something inside that was important to see if it would survive in a fire. Now this one is going to lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, lock that in place, take the keys out, and then I'm gonna put it right here on this small campfire and see if what's inside actually survives. So it's been five minutes, it's been here on the fire. So I'm gonna grab these two sticks and try and get it off of here. Obviously it's made of metal, so it will be pretty warm or hot, I should say. Um, you can see here that the, the fire actively burnt some of the paint off the back, especially. So let me try and move it around here. I'm trying to get it up out of the fire and out of the heat itself. It does have a handle on the front, but that's not gonna do me a whole lot of good. And there we go, I think I can get under that handle now trying to pull it out maybe I can just set it up there we go I'm gonna take and flip that up let me go ahead and get that out so I got it out obviously it's gonna be way too hot to open up yet so I'll let it cool down and then we'll see if the paper inside survived I let it sit out for a few minutes it's probably gonna be pretty hot but I'm gonna should be able to use the key I believe so I'm just gonna try and stick that into there and turn it yep and as you can see the paper did survive five minutes over an active flame and the paper did make it out without burning up. Now it is a little singed, that's just gonna be from the heat itself. Obviously, if you have a house fire, it might be on it for that long, but hopefully not. So definitely worked well for protecting your important documents in the case of a fire. So now I've got this Ambor fireproof document bag that I'm gonna be putting here in the fire. So this one does lock, I'm not going to be locking it, but how this one works is it goes, uh, zips and then Velcro goes on top. So hopefully that will allow it to stay um, safe from the flames. I've got this bag, or they got a couple papers inside of here, a couple papers up there. So I'm gonna zip it shut here real fast. Maybe if I can grab the zipper. There we go, just kind of hiding underneath there. Pull that out, pull that side out, and let's zip that up. Same thing with that, you gotta kind of flip it up. And then the same thing on this back side here. So just kind of have to get it around. So it does have that, have that flap that goes there. So we'll see how well that works. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put all of these down all of the way around just to make sure that we give it as much of a chance as possible to survive here in the fire. It also has a flap here on the back. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna set it right on top of this campfire. Now, obviously this campfire isn't very large, but I'm gonna leave it on there for five minutes and we'll see if it survives. So this one has been on here for about a minute and a half and it is actively engulfed in flames. It is actually contributing to the fire rather than protecting anything inside. The bottom is completely gone. You can see that it is actively melting here as I'm trying to get it out of the fire. So this is definitely not even close to fireproof. I don't know how they can get away with saying it's a fireproof bag on the Amazon listing, but that's not even close to being a fireproof document bag. As you can see here, it is actively burning while it is out of all of the main flames. So this is gonna be the main flames here. And you can see, look at this here, right here at the top, it's still actively burning. So that is definitely not even close to a fireproof bag at all. I wouldn't even call it fire resistant. It only lasted maybe a minute or so before it started actively catching itself on fire. And you can see here, we're already a long ways out of the fire and it's still on fire. Like I'm trying to get it out here and you can see it's keeping itself on fire. Like it is contributing to the flames. So that is not going to protect any documents at all. So I'm gonna test out this e-tronic one. Now again, this one does say that it's fireproof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here just right on top of this small little fire that I have going on and see if it survives. I'm gonna put paper inside of here as well to see if that paper will survive. So I'm just gonna take that paper, put it inside. This one just zips up. This does appear to just be made of plastic. So I don't know if it's gonna be fireproof or not. I've got everything zipped. There's no extra covers or anything like that. So I'm just gonna set it right on top of here. And again, this is gonna be a relatively small fire, not massive flames or anything like that. So if there's a house fire or even like a smaller 
fire that you've got going on, this would be a good representation of it. So I'm gonna set the timer here, see how long it lasts, if it goes up, try and see if we can let it go for five minutes. So I just wanna show you here the issue that it has. So it actually was breached by this fire in under a minute, 45 seconds or so in, the fire breached this. It actually had a flame up when the air from inside got to the fire. And so now it is actively burning the material and using the material, material here as fuel for the fire rather than actually protecting anything inside. So didn't even make it a minute in a fire. Uh, again, this is a very tiny, small campfire. Didn't even make it a minute before we had issues with it not burning. So it's definitely not gonna protect any of your documents or anything like that from any sort of a fire. If your fire is gonna last any, in, even if it's a small fire for any longer than like a minute. So again, this was in the fire for about a minute. You can hear that I had to pour water on it because it's actively being used as fuel for the fire at this point. It's still on fire, even after pouring a pitcher of water on it. So definitely will not protect anything in the event of a fire. Okay, this is how bad this one is. I have taken it so I've taken it completely out of the fire. I poured a gallon of water on top of it, and because the material is so combustible, it is actively on fire. Like a cardboard box still wouldn't be on fire right now, and this one is still actively on fire as it burns. So definitely not even close to fireproof or fire resistant. So here are the remnants of our test. As you can see here, a ton of those there at the end, the last few videos I did were massive like failures, truthfully. They were adding to the fire rather than taking away. You can see I've just got piles of them. They were just absolutely horrendous. The best one of the document bags would have been this one that was the SPZ, one of the first ones that I recorded here. That one did relatively well, like you can see it. The documents inside didn't survive the best in the world, but again, it was in for five minutes. So there was still some crumbling of those documents, meaning if it would have been maybe two minutes or three minutes, they would have survived. So of all of the document bags, those were the best. However, if you're looking for something that will actually keep your documents in a usable condition, then you have to choose one of these two metal safe boxes. All of the other document bags, although they said fireproof, fire resistant, heat resistant, blah, 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 none of them worked. None of the papers survived. Some of them were actually combustible themselves, meaning they were actively on fire. That last one, as I showed you, was absolutely horrendous in regards to how it was actively producing flame even when taking out of the fire. So just something you will want to keep in mind, these two metal ones are going to be the best. If you're looking for something to survive a long time in a fire, if you're worried about, you know, some documents or some other, you know, special memories or pictures or those sorts of things, you're gonna want it in something like that rather than those other ones that say they protect your documents, say that they're fireproof, when in reality, none of the papers inside of them survive. So the brands on those two metal ones that the paper actually survived inside, the one was Kaido LED, and then the other one was, this first one here was XYZ LED. Of those two, the Kaido did work a little bit better. You can see the paint here on the front came off, and then I believe that's just gonna be from the heat. Now, obviously, if there's a fire, you're probably not going to actively have that much heat like underneath it, like you would from a campfire. But in this case, neither of them actively caught on fire, even though they were in the campfire, where not, that cannot be said at all of any of the other document bags that are supposed to, supposed to be fireproof as well. So overall, if you need a fireproof, document bag i wouldn't recommend any document bag at all i would recommend instead going for something like this is going to be the metal fireproof safe like this one from kydo led and the xyz led